Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happenings Today. Yesterday, Ohana Zendibo actually talked a lot about the issue of Ahmed Baba Ahmed over what he said. In fact, in a long shell, they told the police to arrest him for his insightful statement made against Zendibo and the unity of Nigeria as a whole. He looks like the man is not threatened and he knows what he's saying and he has decided to respond not just to Ohana Zendibo's call, but also to the Igbos and the Biafran movement as a whole. Well, before we go into the news, proper like it, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you say bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Where the Northern Elders Forum has backed a statement made by a spokesperson, Dr. Hakma Akim Baba Ahmed, circulating a viral video that Igbo should be allowed to secede from Nigeria. The Northern Group, however, berated the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Hanes in Dibo, for demanding the arrest of Baba Ahmed for saying what they call the obvious truth. It faulted Ohanese's claim that Baba Ahmed was making an inciting statement. Baba Ahmed, who is the group's director of publicity and advocacy, had in the video said, We said if secession is what every Igbos want, and this is what the Igbos want, the nation shouldn't fight a war over it. He also asked the nation the Netherlands, he also asked the Netherlands residing in the northern Nigeria to start relocating back to the north. Anger about the statement of Hanese through its spokesperson, Dr. Alex Obonaya, one as the Islam Baba Ahmed describing his broadcast as extremely nauseating, unquote, provocative, and uh, inflammatory, and above all, very arrogant and licitious. The convener of Northern Elders Forum, Professor Angu, Angu Abdullahi, in a statement on Thursday, said, Obonaya's comments are, to say the least, dangerous and irresponsible, designed to achieve only one goal, to put the life of Dr. Baba Ahmed in peril. The Northern Elders Forum states categorically that all comments and statements made by Dr. Baba Ahmed are authorized and they represent its position. The press statement, which, is, which he read on the 8th of June 2021 at the forum's headquarters in Abuja and presence of the full forum, was the statement of the forum by which it, stand, it still stands. We are aware of the attempt to create the impression that the statement is a recent one, as well as other attempts to misrepresent its content to create scapegoats for the failure to limit the damage of irreditism. In spite of many efforts to inform the public appropriately, it appears that Ohane Zendibo has fallen prey to more mischief or is, or is itself actively involved in incitement against the citizen. Mm. The forum stands by its director of publicity and advocacy, a Nigerian whose pedigree and service to our nation have few parallels. I thought they said he's a Mauritian. I don't know how through though. That's what Johannes Ndibo said. But let's continue anyway. He sees the claim that Dr. Baba Ahmed is a security risk and demands that he should be arrested as pathetic and beneath even the ordinary standards of Johannes Ndibo. We serve notice that we know who to hold responsible in the event of any harm to Dr. Baba Ahmed, the forum advises Ohane Zendibo to focus its attention on contributing to securing people of the Southeast from multiple threats and ensuring that Zendibo has a befitting relevance in Nigeria. The forum affirms its full confidence in Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, who will continue to serve the country, the country Nigeria and the North as we serve for as we search for a future that accommodates all interests in Nigeria. This is the same, <laughs> this is really interesting. This is the same Dr. Hakim uh, Hassan, uh, yeah, Dr. Baba, ba Hakim Baba Ahmed, uh, that made some statements that the presidency um, in the person of Shil Gaba, sorry, Shil Sani, in the person of, um, uh, yeah, Shil, the, the, the senior 
spokesperson to the president, public uh, media and publicity, really. Uh, he said something and said that he has noticed that because of uh, the, so much attention and uh, publicity granted to NEF and their spokesperson in the person of Hakim, he is now beginning to say a uh, derogatory statement, insightful statement, that the only person or the only authority uh, that can you know, tell any, any section, any region uh, to secede or to leave is the president. And it has to be backed up by law, which Nigeria selected. And he feels that um, I think uh, they are beginning to uh, talk too much, or uh, they're beginning to take too much attention to themselves and almost forgetting their position. They're just a forum, not even they're not elected. They're just um, an opinionated group who speaks the mindset of some uh, a region. I mean, I wouldn't really be a region, a group of tribe, you know, and the president is of the opinion that whatever it is should remain as an opinion and not a law. All right. And uh, since everybody has been calling for the arrest, it was still this same set, I think CNG, that actually said that they should arrest the elders of Southeast. This whole arresting did not start with the Ohanese. In fact, Ohanese took a cue from them. We at CNG said that they should arrest even... Uh, the, the elders who dare to plead the cause of their son, Manzan Namdekano, to be released over the fact that um, he's uh, agitating for Biafra, that the fact that they even want him to be released, that, that has made them an accomplice, that hence the truth, the elders of South should be arrested. That was, in fact, that was it for a lot of Nigerians. They were like, ah, what has this? Everybody's entitled to their opinion, but asking for the arrest, okay. So, which means calling for arrest is now a norm and it's normal. Okay, so Hannes said to take a cue and said, okay, being that um, Hakim has said something like this, insisting that they should go, even though they are doing all it can to see how they can quell the tension going on in the southeast and also enjoy and enjoying their youth to be calm and calculated, to be uh, to be law abiding and be peaceful citizens, uh, Hakim by default is saying that they should go if they really want to go. But if you check it though, I'm just trying to be real here. I came here and just said the mindset of most Biafra. They said they want to leave. Okay, and I came here and I said, look, since you people want to leave, let's not go into any form of war. Okay, can you just allow them to go with their Biafra? Because sometimes, you know, when you look to the east, also look to the west. When you when east does not go, please try wars. Wars may actually be going. The beer friends or those agitating for beer friends have never denied the fact that they want to go. They keep saying it every day. They say it all the time that they want a referendum to be con conducted. They want the nation of their own. They want out. And I keep that saying, instead of us going through the same route of 1967 to 1970, where there was quite a lot of loss of lives, can we just do this peacefully? Let it be a referendum. Let any other person who wants to go, but beginning with their agitation, that they should go. So, uh, uh, like um, he would say, I just think maybe Johannes Indy was trying not to uh, hit up the policy. Policy, but I think before Johannes Indy will start talking, they should talk to their youths. They should call their youth in the stakeholders meeting and ask them. What truly do you want? Do you want Igbo presidency or presidency of Igbo extraction? Or do you want Biafra? Whichever one you now want, they deliberate on the pros and the cons, the benefits and the disadvantages. Then they stand by it and pursue it with one goal. That's my personal opinion, though. You may differ. Let's meet in our conversation. What's your take? Do have a nice